Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Church of the Palms devotional coming to you from Sarasota, Florida. This is for July 21st, the year 2023. Let us center ourselves by listening to beautiful piano music. Our scripture lesson for today is the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 3, verses 13 through 19. Mark 3, 13 through 19. Let us hear God's word to us. Jesus went up the mountain and called to him those whom he wanted. And they came to him, and he, appo he appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, to be with him and to be sent out to proclaim the message and to have authority to cast out demons. So Jesus appointed the twelve, Simon, to whom he gave the name Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, to whom he gave the name of Bernard Gess, that is, son of thunder. And Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, son of Alphaeus, and Thaddeus, and Simon the Canaanian, and Judas is carried who betrayed him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your sight. O God, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Earlier in my um, theological training, my favorite Bible commentary was William Barclay. His writings are easy, easier to understand for a third language reader in English. And he was self-proclaimed and also named by others as an evangelical liberal, which I was, and I still am, I hope. I have deep respect for Barclay to this day. I wish I had met him to thank him. After reading several commentaries and praying many times in preparation for today's devotional, I felt called to share William Barclay's interpretation. And I would love to read a long quote from his commentary on today's scripture lesson. This is what William Barclay says. Jesus had come to a very important moment in his life and work. He had emerged with his message. He had chosen his method. He had gone throughout Galilee preaching and healing. By this time, Jesus had made a very considerable impact on the public mind. 
he had to choose certain men on whose hearts and lives he could write his message and who would go out from his presence to carry that message abroad. I love this so much. Let me repeat that part. Jesus had, Jesus had to choose certain men on whose hearts and lives he could write his message and who would go out from his presence to carry that message to everyone else, to abroad. It is significant that Christianity began with a group. The Christian faith is something which from the beginning had to be discovered and lived out in a fellowship. Further, Christianity began with a very mixed group. In it, the two extremes met. Matthew was a tax collector and therefore an outcast. He was a renegade and a traitor to his fellow countrymen. Simon the Canaanian is correctly called by Luke, Simon the Zealous. And the Zealous were a band of fiery, violent national nationalists, violent nationalists who were pledged even to murder and assassination to clear their country of the foreign yoke. The men who had lost to patriotism and the fanatical patriot came together in that group. And no doubt between them, there were all kinds of backgrounds and opinions. Christianity began by insisting that the most diverse people should live together because they were all living with Jesus. The men Jesus chose had no special qualifications at all. They were 12 ordinary men. They loved Jesus and they were not afraid to tell the world that they loved him. And that is being a Christian. Jesus called them to him for two purposes. First, he called them to be with him. He called them to be his steady and consistent companions. Second, he called, Jesus called them to send them out. He wanted them to be his representations. He wanted them to tell others about him. For their task, Jesus equipped them to do two things. First, he gave them a message. They were to be his heralds. Second, he gave them a power. They were also to heal the sick and to cast out demons. Because they, they accompanied with him, something of his power was on their lives. That is the end of Barclay's quote. Isn't that wonderful quotation? Today, Jesus calls us, that is you and me and all of us, to share the good news of the gospel here and now. We are called to share God's love, grace, forgiveness, and acceptance into the kingdom of God. Jesus gives us power. Jesus gives us the power to pray for others in need of healing and to get rid of their demons. We pray, we care, and God cures them. Nowadays, we still have demons, as you know, addiction of all kinds, cruelty towards other people, animals, and to the planet Earth, thieves of all kinds, to name a few. Our family members and neighbors who possessed one or more of these demons need healing. We have the power to pray to God for them. Like the 12 apostles long ago, apostles or disciples long ago, um, let us respond to Jesus' call. Let us follow Jesus. Let us be God's instrument of sharing the good news of the gospel. Let us be open to be God's herald or ambassadors in the world now and today. Let us pray. Our most loving and gracious God, thank you for calling us to be the followers of Jesus. May we be your instruments of healing to your hurting children today and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>